Let's look at saving your model. So if you have a model, there's a few things you can save it. You can come up into the tools and you can just click in here to save the model. So you can go save as, and then you can choose how you want to save this. So you're gonna notice at the end of here, it says Z tool. This is what this is, a ZBrush tool. So I'm gonna save this on my desktop here. And I'm going to put it into I'm just going to call it training basic and then I'm going to click save okay so the other way you can save it is you can save the whole document and the tool and you need to come up to document and you can click in here save as and this will save this and you can ask you if you want to save the tool as well so you can save the tool and you can save the document which is here we're going to talk about this more later we're not going to use this for now so I'm going to click cancel to that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close ZBrush in down and I'm going to reopen the training tool that we have okay let's close this down and not save it because I've already saved the tool so I'm going to click no and now I'm going to reopen up ZBrush from scratch and I'm going to load that tool back in so I'm now opening ZBrush and it will appear in here in a second there it is and now I'm going to load the tool so I'm going to close the light box I'm going to go load tool I'm going to find that on my desktop there it is and I'm going to click open and now I can drag this in and click straight into edit remember not to keep dragging otherwise you're going to get this and if that happens, press Control, hold the Control key, press N. We're just going to drag this in and go straight into Edit. And now we're back to where we started. So that's how we can load that model in there. Still got the subdivision levels and we've loaded it back in. So that if you're working on a project and you want to save it out so you can work on it again, then you can just save it onto your desktop or wherever you like and you can open it back up later. You can also click the file on your desktop and it will open up in ZBrush as well.